And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave their right to me And I gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love hate this land God bless the USA <laughs> <laughs> that I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> Welcome to the Seven Days Podcast. I sound great, right? I should be on American fucking Got Talent or fucking, I don't know, one of those singing shows where you got talent and shit. I should be there, right? <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, guys. Oh shit! All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, pre- I this is like my third take, my third take on this podcast shit right now. I'm recording this legit two minutes before it's midnight, and I'm gonna be honest, man. Huh? I have, uh, I, I have a, a, uh, a part. I have a take right in the audio. I have an audio clip where. I said some things about, you know, about Donald Trump winning the, the, the being president and all the stuff going on with the states recently and all that shit, you know, I just basically saying, you know, how do y'all, like, you guys voted, the United States of America, you Americans voted for a WWE Hall of Famer, remember that, you voted for a Hall of Famer, you didn't vote for, I don't know, Bernie Sanders or, you know, a, a trying to uh, a woman trying to be the first female of the United States to be president, even though that's all she fucking cared about. She didn't care about the beneficial for everyone else. No, from what I've heard is the first woman president of the United States, right? Yeah. So I talk about all that shit. How you know recently this 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 trend about being first of doing things it's ridiculous so and i'm gonna be honest i am not gonna talk about wrestling because there's nothing much to talk about this week when it comes to wrestling freaking monday night raw uneventful was not entertaining was boring as shit i regret watching it but i'm pl- I, I plan on watching it this monday because i'm a little bit hyped because the goldberg and lesnar uh face to face they're not gonna interact but i don't know we'll see what happens there and SmackDown, I mean, SmackDown's doing great. You know, there's nothing much I can do about it. Nothing much, there's nothing much I can say about it. There's nothing else I can do for it to be better. You know, there's nothing much I can say that'll do any, any justice. So, I'm just going to sit here while I'm listening to the TJ Perkins theme song. Yeah, fucking haters. I love this song. Dick. Dick Wads up there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do this live. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on Google. And I typed in wrestling news, but I'm going to type in WWE news uh, just to see what's up. Uh, I got one news here uh, from DWN Daily Wrestling News. I see Vince McMahon with the network right beside him. All right, this is saying WWE planning pay-per-view changes for the next year due to the decline in the WWE network subscription numbers WWE officials are looking at making another change when it comes to the pay-per-view schedule next year i hope it's like the royal rumble elimination chamber then fast lane then wrestlemania and then i don't know smackdown gets the first pay-per-view raw gets the second one and then again and again and again then SummerSlam, and then i don't know i don't know how i don't know how money the bank is gonna work is money the bank gonna be a dual pay-per-view let's i don't know we'll see uh, plans have has, haven't plans haven't plans have not been finalized yet. But according to the Wrestling Observer newsletter, there will be a few less pay per view events that originally was planned in 2017. After December 18th Roadblock pay per view, WWE will have ran 15 pay per view events this year, plus. Five network exclusive events. 
like it. You know, I, I said this in my other take, you know, not the one you're about to hear soon, but like while I was recording, but I realized my fucking microphone was not picking up that, you know, they should bring back pay-per-views like, I don't know, let's see, one night stand maybe that can work or, uh, you know, Great American Bash or some shit. I don't know. Maybe not a great American bash because, you know, the way how they did it on fucking July 4th this year. <laughs> Worst Monday Night Raw in history. I don't know. Maybe the one we had this month or last month. Maybe Halloween was the worst one. I don't fucking know. All right. So I'm on E-Wrestling News. This is about Kurt Angle. Hmm. Kurt Angle recently appeared on Steve Austin's podcast to talk about a number of talk of topics. Here are the highlights hey, on his new life on the indie scene. I took uh, this is a I guess this is a quote from uh, Kurt Angle. It says, "I took the shield off. I wanted to take a break. I actually got the chance to wrestle a few guys before I stepped out. One of those guys was Cody Rhodes. I had the chance of facing him." A few times, it's crazy. The indie scene is doing really well, especially in the UK, Scotland. They're getting about four to seven thousand fans. They are live streaming their pay per views. The money is incredible, especially on the indie show. Wrestling right now is really good, no matter where you are. I thought I would make the money I am making wrestling on the indie sh- on the indie scene. I know a couple of the wrestlers are doing. They didn't tell me how much they were making, but they're happy. They're pretty happy with the pay. I wrestled Cody Rhodes, and I couldn't believe the outcome and how they were able to advise. I really believe these companies in the UK are about to get some major steam. I think they are going to get TV deals and get bigger. For some reason, wrestling out there is a lot hotter than wrestling here in the States. So y'all people are fucking up. This guy's 47 years old. God damn. And he's still one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. On Stardust, not getting over because of the style of pace in the ring. Well, I, I, I have always believed in his talent. I think I understand why he left. I don't think he's going to, he's going to be gone from there forever. I think that he will eventually go back there. I just think... He, he wanted a break and wanted to do something where he could just find himself. I think that WWE, he was doing what they wanted him to do. And I know he wanted to elaborate more on the Stardust character. It seemed that watching, he was on TV every week, so I gave WWE credit for that. But I just saw him where he thought he should be. And there will be a lot of people that agree with Cody on that. But at the same time, I looked at WWE, and there are a lot of good talent right now. Their style have picked up more pace. They need to pull that back a little bit. They need to pull that back a bit. Uh, they need to go back being a little bit more old, old school. Hmm. Kurt Angle going, trying to tell WWE they should go back old school. I think their pace is really going fast. And I think the one thing that they are not doing is selling as much as they should. Hmm. What kind of selling does Kurt Angle mean, guys? Does he mean, oh, I don't know. You go through a Hell in the Cell match and you come back 24 hours later. You come out a week later with tape on your back and, and, and you're fine? And you wrestle? What? Is that what he means? They're like, you know, if you go through Hell in the Cell, you should be relaxing. You should be trying to, you know, trying to fix up your wounds from a Hell in a fucking Cell match? I don't know. I just don't know, you know? All right, he also says, I think that I think that down the road, if they continue to do that and pick up the pace, it would be eventually kill it would if it could eventually kill the business. You know wrestling works in cycles. There was a time where I when I was in WWE, I remember where I started 50 straight matches without tying up. It started with punches, but then it slowed down. Then came to technical wrestling. I think it come around again. I just think a right I just think right now they're giving wrestlers less time on TV, which is true. So there's no time to tell that story and show their wrestling ability. Kurt Angle is right on the freaking money. No, especially the cruiserweights. The cruiserweights are in the divas position now. 
You know, the women's position before, when they used to have fucking seconds of matches, bro, on Raw. Right? That's the Cruiserweights now. The Cruiserweights are in that position where they're just going to have minutes, uh, like three minutes, four minute matches, bro. We can't, we can't sit here and digest that, you know, like within minutes. You see, you're telling me that I have to sit here and be like, oh shit, the match is over? Really? I mean, honestly, I cared about the Cruiserweights. I love, I love Cedric. I love, uh, Rich Swan and, 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 uh, Alexander, like, you know, I'm pretty sure I said Cedric. God damn it. So I love Cedric. I love Rich Swan, And I also love uh, Kendrick. And obviously TJ Perkins as well. You know. Tony Nese. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to let him grow on me at the same time. But I'm not questioning his wrestling abilities at all. Uh, there's another news about. You know. WWE to cut back on a number of papers used in 2017. Okay. Let's see where they're going to go from this. It sounds like changes are coming to WWE pay-per-view schedule starting next year. According to a report by the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, WWE will be cutting back on the, on the amount of pay-per-view events they host. This is reportedly in part due, due, due to declining WWE network, 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 like legit, it says net and then W-O-K, walk, network, <laughs> subscription numbers. There's no word on exactly how many or which events will be cut, but the company will will reportedly be removing removing a few pay-per-views from the schedule. By the end of 2016, yeah, there'll be 15 pay-per-views plus fucking five network exclusives. They need to cut TLC, Hell in the Cell, all right? No Mercy is perfectly fine. Uh, you know, they need to cut Class of Champions. That's a stupid pay-per-view, in my opinion, because... It, 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 they're basically calling it Clash of Champions, even though it's a Night of Champions concept. So, what? I mean, if if they're gonna keep keep a uh, Clash of Champions, they might as well uh, duh, duh, freaking have all the champions go at it. But no, we have to have Raw exclusive. Jesus Christ. Okay. This is about Hulk Hogan. Yeah, you know the 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 one guy that everyone called him a racist, but now a lot of people have forgiven him. Yeah, that guy. All right, so we're on NoDQ.com. Yes, I'm doing this live. I have nothing to talk about, like I said earlier, because WWE is so boring. I, I did watch NXT. I mean, eh, I don't really care about the Dusty Rhodes Classic yet. Uh, I I want to get to the finals. I I really don't like. Uh, tournaments to, like at the beginning, but when it gets to the end, then I start caring about it. So, all right, Hulk Hogan appeared on Eric Bischoff's podcast and shut down reports fueled by his own daughter that he was possibly returning to WWE for WrestleMania, brother. So he says, "Quote: I know, brother. I'm just adding that. If if I don't bring if I don't bring it up, no one will." So anyway, Brooke, Brooke's uh, running around on TMZ and made the statement about me and wrestling and WrestleMania. For the record, she needs the big boot to the head. Wow. I haven't talked to anyone about WrestleMania. I just need to put that to rest. I asked Brooke, what are you doing? She goes, oh, well, I'm just starting it up. I said, thanks, Brooke. It's, it was kind of funny. I said, no harm, no foul. It was all in the in f- what it was all in good fun. Okay, so Hogan basically shutting down. Look, bitches, I ain't wrestling. I ain't going back to WWE. I ain't got no call yet. Like you know, I ain't got no call. Nothing. I think I'm. Oh, I got like two minutes left. Okay, two minutes. All right, we're going back on no DQ again. This is about Finn Balor and about you know, uh, reaching at, uh, Roblox. Now remember, Finn Balor is the master of trolling. So we're gonna have to see. We're gonna take. The, I'm gonna take this with uh, a grain of salt. If someone else says it, you know. I'm just gonna be like, you know, I'm gonna give it a benefit of the doubt. So let's see. Okay, during the during an interview with uh, ScreenGeek.net, Finn Balor was asked about his name being advertised for WWE Roblox in December next month. So and he said, "Quote: So I believe a lot of rumors went around this week about Finn Balor possibly returning at Roblox. I think 
That was literally just a mistake that had been submitted before, before SummerSlam. And that was the project card. And it hasn't been updated yet. So, that was probably just an advertisement that slipped through the cracks. I can 100% guarantee what date is Roblox December 18th. I will, I will 100% guarantee that I will be home with my friends and family at Christmas. I will be back in 2017. So that's it. Finn Balor, you know, is saying that I don't know where this shit come from. But, you know, I am just, I'm just going to, I'm going to be home chilling. I'm not going to be, you know, at Roblox. But you never know. Like I said, he is the king of Trollville. All right, he's trolling. You never know. You never fucking know. I see one about Booker T not being a fan of James Ellsworth. That's just his opinion to, my, to me. Uh, major change to Survivor Series. WWE's reaction to Donald Trump and more. All right. I got about a... I got less than a minute. All right. I got less than a minute. Let's see if I can get this done. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it's just a video. Oh. Okay. Never mind then. It's literally just a video. So you know what? Fuck that. Um... I'm just gonna leave it there. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's that's all it. I mean, I'm I'm all here looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't see no news, no good news, nothing. But like I said, I really hope that they do bring back some good pay per views. But all right, guys, I'm just gonna leave it from here. You guys gonna hear what I have to say about Donald Trump and you people voting and shit. You're just gonna listen to what I have to say. So a later. But I just love the fact how people are just talking shit about Obama for so many years, right? And then Donald Trump comes through, you want him back. Who was the one that voted for Trump? A WWE. <laughs> you voted for a WWE Hall of Famer. <laughs> you voted for a WWE freaking Hall of Famer. A man that shaved Vince McMahon's head. A man that got stunned by Stone Cold Steve Austin. A man that bought Monday Night Raw, told Santina slash Santino that he's fired, and then sold Monday Night Raw back to Vince. And then years later, got inducted to the Hall of Fame. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god. The fact that Hogan made a mistake and owned up to it, and he apologized, everyone forgave him now, or at least uh, the majority, I'm not saying everyone, I'm not speaking for everyone, I'm just saying the majority, the majority have forgave Hogan. And nothing, no Hall of Fame, not back in the Hall of Fame, nothing, right? Donald Trump, the one of the most hated, controversial person I've ever seen in U.S. currently, still in the Hall of Fame, Still being mentioned in WWE, and now he's president. So what? Th th what? Vince McMahon's gonna walk around here, you know, be like, "Yeah, I inducted a president into my company, into my Hall of Fame." What? 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 <laughs> All I can say is, man, you voted for him, and you voted for Clinton. Bernie was there, you didn't vote, and you screwed yourself with no loop, bro. You practiced safe sex, and you fucked yourself. That's all I can say about that. I'm pretty sure everybody, I, I want to know what's going on in the States right now. I want to know how people are doing right now. How, how you doing? I, I, I just want to know, like, are you raging? Rioting? Hmm? Damaging so many stores, which makes no sense. Because what did the stores do to you for you to damage and break glass? Like, uh, what? What? I, I get the point of writing, but why? Is he going to come out and be like, all right, all right. If you stop rioting, I'm going to revoke uh, myself as president. You really think that's going to? No, it's not going to work. You think he worked 18 months just to get to this point? Just for you guys to be like, we're going to fucking riot. And he's going to stop being president. And then it's going to work. No. It's not how it works, bro. He's going to be president. I guess, like, all you have to do... Don't worry, guys. 
This is only four years. <laughs> it's only four years. I mean, come on. I mean, it's not like Hillary Clinton trying to um, start a war. Do you know what I see when there are, when between the votes on both candidates? Do you know what I I see? The racist people on one side and the freaking feminist on the other. That's what I see. Racist for Trump and feminist for Hillary. Do you know how many news outlets I keep hearing last night about? Oh, you know when um when they found out that Hillary Clinton's not gonna win, they're like, oh, they were so close. But we're not going to have the first female president. Are you fucking... That's what you care about? First female president. R wow. Wow. Wow, okay. For What's with this shit? What's with this thing going on with first? First hell in the cell. First main event on pay-per-view. First time since 2004... On Raw main event for the women. And then after now, first female president. Does that... Okay. Okay, fine then. We didn't... We never... We, uh, the United States never had a female president. Okay. So they never had an ISIS president. They never had a KKK president. They never had a, a full... Like you can tell, full, not questionable, like Obama black president. What? Is that what everyone is thinking about now? Because if that's so, let that shit happen then. First, first, first. First this, first that. The first gay president, the first lesbian president. First, first, is that what people care about now is first? Seriously. I just, first, first, first. Wow. First female president. Does anyone give a fuck? I mean, like, I, and I've seen videos of her keep saying the same thing. First, you know, you know, we're on the we're we're on our way of being the first or, or having the first female president. Is that what you fucking care about? Seriously, and don't come at me with that bullshit. Oh, you're just mad, you know, uh, the women trying to gain power. But 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 no, it's just I don't. It's just that the people in the United States don't care about first. They care about what is the president gonna do to make the com make the country. Uh, great. Make the country good. To make the country beneficial for everyone. That's what it's supposed to be. Not just first, 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 first. Because if this if this is all it's about first, then what I just listed: ISIS, KKK, and gay and f and lesbian, all that shit. First, this. Let it happen then, because it, it, you might as well let that shit happen because. If that's what people care about is first, 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 then I, I see America being the first country to go down in flames. I see America being the first to die. Okay. Now, now I get it that that last part didn't make any sense. But you know what I mean. The first, first, first. I, I'm sick and tired of it. WWE and America for like it's the first. <sighs> well, okay. So now we have a fr okay. So let's have let's let's look at it from Donald Trump's perspective. You know, we have a first man that that we have a first president that is a reality star, a millionaire, and a WWE Hall of Famer. Yeah, you idiots. All of you. I don't give a fuck if you didn't vote or not. The people... More importantly, the people that did vote. You voted for this. You voted for both. Either Hillary or 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 Trump. I mean, everyone's saying good about Bar uh, Bernie Sanders. But but less good about Trump and Hillary. So why the fuck did you go with, Hi with Hillary and Trump instead of Bernie then? Your logic doesn't make any sense. Oh, oh, this one good guy in in, in this uh in this freaking presidential run, this you know this campaign. Let's just go for the other two that's fucking bad equally, and, and let's leave the good guy out of this. Fucking idiot. Come out.